for joining us. So we are really excited to be at this event. Uh, my name is Luke Fury and I'm a recruiter with Scotiabank doing some retail recruiting for the branches uh, on the island and abroad. So we can go into the next slide. Uh, I don't want to waste any time. Just want to jump right in to basically talk about some of the key pillars of Scotiabank and basically explain why we think Scotiabank is a great place to work. So it's a fun little acronym that spells out Scotia. So I'll start with the S. Uh, the S stands for student development. So at Scotiabank, we value the young talent like you because we understand that you will be our future leaders. So um, where, where you start off isn't where you're going to end up. You may start off as a bank teller or as a financial advisor, um, but as you grow with the bank and learn new skills, you may see yourself going into a small business advisor or even assistant manager or customer experience supervisor. Um, the, the sky's the limit in this kind of a, in this kind of branch environment. So we really do have that student development piece at Scotiabank. Uh, the next piece is the C. So the C stands for culture. Uh, this one's my favorite because Scotiabank really does have such a supportive and welcoming culture. It is hard to, you know, kind of talk about culture. We feel it's something you kind of feel and need to experience it yourself. But one thing I can say is that, you know, in my time in working at Scotiabank, I've never been scared to make a mistake or, you know, ask a question because the focus has always been on learning and supporting the growth. Um, you know, we don't expect someone to have all the, it, it kind of what a previous uh, employer had said, you don't need to check off every box in the job description um, as long as you come in with that willingness to learn and, and that, uh, you know, that, a focus to want to grow your career, Scotiabank will typically help support that. Uh, the next is, oh, for opportunities. So there's nearly 100,000 employees at Scotiabank worldwide. Um, so that means there is many opportunities and jobs that you may never even heard of, whether that be in IT or marketing or, or HR, um, or again in banking. So working with loans or again, the small business side of things. So the opportunities are lit are limitless here at Scotiabank um, and they're available to you that you know all you really need to do is, is raise your hand and have those conversations with your supervisors and managers and they will help make sure that you're again growing towards the career that you ultimately may not have today but that you'll grow into eventually. Um, I would also like to add on opportunities that within Scotiabank there's lots of like lots of great opportunities to get involved in your community um, whether it be sponsoring certain events or um, you know, representing Scotiabank at certain other events like public events. So um, more on that as, as well. If you have any questions, we can touch on that in the question period. Um, next would be the T. So the T is technology. Um, you want to be part of an organization that prioritizes technology because let's face it, technology is the future. It's all around us. It's how we're even connected here today. So even if you don't work directly in tech, any single role that you do at Scotiabank will be affected by technology. Um, and I love being part of an organization that understands the importance of tech and continues to invest in it over the long haul. Uh, next on to the I, uh, almost through the acronym, the I is uh, inclusive. So um, we are an extremely inclusive company. It's not something that we just talk about or something that we've really tried to put into action uh, more so in the last you know, recent years. We have so many employee resource groups, whether it be around pride or veteran. Um, there's lots of different supportive communities internal to the bank that you can join and get involved in. Um, again, diversity and inclusion is one of our top priorities. And, and one thing Scotiabank is really big on is bringing your whole self to work. And, and again, that's how I feel every single day. Um, and and yeah, so moving right on to the A, um, the last thing that really resonates with me is Scotiabank's international exposure. Uh, we are a truly global company and have focused a lot of our efforts on expanding our presence in Latin America. Um, this might be something that's interesting to you, maybe not as you start in a bank or in a branch on the island, maybe in five, 10 years, you get a transfer relocation to some results in the world. So um, one thing I like to highlight there as well. So um, there you have it, that's the acronym. Those are just a few of the reasons why we think Scotiabank is a great place to work. And um, yeah, so we can move on to the next slide. It's just a real quick uh, description of what the agenda is for the rest of the presentation. I know we only have a, a little bit of time left. Um, so we'll go to the next one as well. Uh, spend some time not really on the next one. The next one's just talking about who I am. I'm the talent acquisition consultant supporting the retail branches um, in your region, actually. Um, and then there's a video after that as well, um, which we can um, typically, I'll, I'll put the link in the, in the comment box or maybe someone, Shannon, can maybe throw the link from that, uh, from that slide number five. It's just a little bit more about what, what the day in the life at Scotiabank looks like. It's the fifth slide with purple. Um, but then going to slide six. So that's where I want to that's where I want to spend the rest of the time. Uh, we'll be just going through talking about the roles that we have at Scotiabank that may be relevant to you. So yeah, that's perfect right there. The types of roles. Um, oh, I lost my screen there. Yeah, so there's two different types of roles, uh, one on service and one on advisory. So basically in service, you're, you're customer facing, you're the first point of contact, um, really getting in and, and helping customers with their day-to-day -day banking. And then more on the advisory side of things, you're taking more of a long-term approach, really trying to build a relationship and help clients with their long-term financial plan. Um, so getting into slide seven, just gonna go back here. Yeah, the next slide, sorry. Perfect. 
That one's great. So yeah, the, uh, the financial advisor position. So our advisors are customer centric and able to connect with people in a relatable way. We'll just start with the FA and then we'll go back to the, the other one after. So the, the next slide, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so our, fi our financial advisors are customer centric and able to connect with people in a relatable way. Um, so as an essential member of the Canadian Bank and Branch Network, again, your focus is to provide exceptional service to the customer's journey by taking a proactive approach, you know, discovering customers' needs. Maybe they have a, you know, looking to purchase a mortgage or looking to consolidate debt, whatever the case may be, you're kind of taking a relationship driven approach and helping them match with Scotiabank's products and services that will help them reach their goals. So again, it's all about nurturing strong, st strong, long standing relationships. And you can see there on the slide, a few of the traits that we typically would look for in this kind of role. It's nice to have a financial background, but it's not needed. Um, again, at Scotiabank, we really take what you have, we're at, see your potential and allow you to grow into other roles down the road. So again, if you don't check all the boxes in the job description, don't be afraid to apply. And then we'll go back to the, the customer experience associate slide, um, the, the green one there, perfect. The, this is the bank teller. It's, we changed the name because there is more of this, more skills involved nowadays. It's not just simple debits and credits and doing transactions. You're actually, once you get up and skilled, you're helping open up new accounts, you know, doing, um, I guess, applying for credit cards for people, those types of things. You're doing more of a, um, I guess, so the day-to-day -day banking is the main focus, but really what you're doing is being the first point of contact, taking any concerns, comments, putting them in the right place and, and kind of going from there. So again, it's the old fashioned bank teller role um, with, the, with more, I guess, more duties than in the past. And this is a great opportunity for students who may not be quite yet out of school. They're looking for a part-time role. A lot of our customer experience associates roles will start at part-time and it's a great way to get your foot into the bank um, and learn about our systems and products before growing into other roles down the road. So we'll jump ahead. I know I only have a few minutes left here, but we'll jump ahead two slides into the Elevate. Um, so basically what Elevate is, I won't spend too much time on this. It's essentially our career progression model that introduces a clear and transparent career path really driven by the employee. So you might put yourself, you know, traditionally you, you put your time in, you might have to wait for someone above you to retire, or maybe you would have had to relocate to kind of get that promotion. But with this pathway progression, you're actually able to kind of grow your career where you're at. So basically how it works is, you know, you don't need to wait for the role to open up to move into a senior customer customer experience associate role or a senior financial advisor role. So basically as, as you succeed in the role and you are able to meet your targets over two consecutive quarters, so basically six months, you're able to elevate into the next position. Uh, typically comes with a salary increase. And, and again, once you move into that new position, that's a promotion with new skills, new duties, um, and really it helps you grow your career. Um, outside of that, I guess the key thing that Elevate really gives you is a clear roadmap of your career. You don't need to you know, spend time guessing, okay, if I want to get here and you're currently here, you don't need to know, like, am I, two, am I two years away? Am I two months away? You kind of know what you need to do before you get into that new role. So uh, the financial advisors and, and CEAs, I call them, that uh, have done this program have really seen some success by just being able to um, you know, know where they're at and, and kind of grow their own career. The last slide, won't spend too much time on this one either. It's very visual, um, just on how to apply to, uh, to a role at Scotiabank. Our, our career site is probably the easiest way to find them. Um, we don't have any co-op or um, internships like that in the island or on the island or even in Atlantic Canada at this time. A lot of them are based out of uh, Toronto, unfortunately. Um, but if you're interested in that and willing to relocate, there's a, a student portal on the website as well. Basically, what you would do is you would apply, have the recruiter interview with someone like myself, and then go in front of the branch and further assess your fit in that kind of role. So I know that's a really quick snapshot of a, what a, a day in life at Scotiabank and what the kind of roles that we have here. But hopefully that's a little more informative um, than what you may have known coming into this presentation. And you can consider Scotiabank as an employer of choice. Again, I'll be open for any questions or comments at the end.